Welcome to sports. Finally, it came down. Von Miller suspended for six games for multiple violations of the NFL's substance abuse policy. Good. It's over. Broncos can now move on. Vaughn was at practice today. Suspension starts August 30th. He can return October 14th and play against the Colts. Now, during the suspension, he can work out at Broncos camp, go to team meetings, but no practice or games. John Fox, John Elway, talked late this afternoon about life without Vaughn for now. Sometimes you can use distractions to your benefit, and the fact that distractions are also when you're getting patted on the back all the time, too, which we have been quite a bit. And so I think that... Uh, you know, this is something that, you know, we realize, you know, Vaughn was a big part of our defense, and we're going to have to play and pick up for that slack that Vaughn's not going to have there. So um, whether it's a distraction or a bump in the road that we got to deal with, and as a football team, figure out a way to, uh, you know, pick up that slack. We're going to have to have guys play better. You know, everybody's going to have to step up. I know it is next man up, but he's a hard man to replace. But the guys around him have to play better. The guys on the other side of the ball have to play better, and uh, that will be the challenge to our team. In his statement that he released, Vaughn said he's especially sorry for hurting his team, Broncos fans, and himself. It'll cost him over 800 grand. Says he's sorry for the effect of his bad decisions on others. Today, we asked Vaughn the question, have you let the fans and your teammates down? Vaughn said his teammates have been nothing but supportive. I got great teammates. You know, they from uh, from Peyton all the way to you know free agents on the spot. Everybody's been supportive of everything, and everybody, you know, believed in me. I got great teammates. Vaughn's a, is a, one of our teammates. He's part of the family, and uh, I certainly have his back as his teammate. Uh, and I, I know that all the players do, and the organization does. And uh, we'll get through this time, and um, we support him 100%. It's always frustrating when, whenever somebody gets a suspension, but you know we're we're still teammates. You know, everybody makes mistakes. We're not going to turn our backs. On him. So Nate Irvin moves outside. They got Sean Phillips out there. Wesley Woodyard moves to the middle. Broncos signed linebacker Paris Lennon today. They're going to try to make this all work together until game seven.